Life is strange. Now I can finally take this back to Kate before I'm late. As if I have to worry about being late anymore. I do have all the time in the world now. Uh, I need to take this back to Kate. Uh, Kate. Uh, oh. Oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Well, if that's all they had to say, they can shut their mouths. Because I refuse. I refuse to shut my mouth. Oh, shit. Now I'm getting anonymous threats? It never ends. Man, I'm a. This I'm has a to be from Nathan. But it could be anybody. It literally could be I anybody. I better be doubly careful around here, or I could be in serious danger. I could be in I'm serious not already. danger. Uh, Kate. Kate? Kate? This is Kate, I think. No, that's Dana. Yes, uh... Brooke. Yes, of course. I know everyone's name. I know all of the names. Should I talk to these people? I don't even. Go away! People are sleeping. Clearly not a morning person. Clearly. Oh. Taylor is no doubt being led around by Victoria. I don't have time, as Max. Usual. I can't talk now. Juliet. Kate was the socially awkward girl. That's right. She was the one that got accused of uh, uh, of being uh, promiscuous. Is she in her room? Kate, you in there? Yes, I'm here. Come in, Max. Hello, Kate. It is I, Max. Why did she cover up the mirror? She can't look at herself? That's really sad. It's kind of sad. Kate's art is perfect for a children's book. Everything looks so fun and colorful and positive. Aww. Don't mind me, Kate. I am just looking through your belongings. Do you keep ketchup on a freaking shelf that's like a that's like a crime you could refrigerate that shit dude you can just leave ketchup and mustard even even and mustard what are you doing what are you doing why are you doing that kate is all alone dealing with this video bullshit I hope her mother doesn't disown her. Please call us after your classes this evening so we can fully discuss this matter. We hope you haven't brought the shame on you or our family. We will pray for you and expect you to pray for our forgiveness. Your mother. Oh, yeah, well, that would be easier to read like that, but I, I didn't need to know. Kate is all Kate used to play the violin every morning. She stopped last week. <clears throat> well, it's funny because it looks like it's open and out of its case. Just kind of like, you know, if she didn't if she didn't want to play it, she'd probably like hide it, like put it away, you know, not just like leave it out here on the couch. It should be a nice place to sit, you know, kind of just taking up space, being out there like that. So to assume. It's open like that. Maybe Kate has a split personality. Church girl by day. That's very presumptuous of me. Um, excuse me. Kate even makes notes in her Bible. My parents never once took me to church. I had nothing to rebel against. 
I don't know what to believe now. Okay. Kate's room is usually time an travel. For her, this must be a pigsty. Probably. It's way too emo in here. Kate isn't that gloomy. Until lately. Um, what are, what are the pictures? You need to look for these pictures. I don't want to forget about that. Uh, there's like a sh silhouette against the window. There's like a gun firing, like a bone. Fire walk with me, that's a, that's from uh, freaking Twin Peaks. I can find something related to Twin Peaks, I guess. Oh shit, there's a gerbil! Or it's a rabbit, I guess. It's adorable. Do not mind me, Kate. I am merely taking a picture of your... money. That's a lot of tears. She's going to go through boxes. Are you assuming... Well, um... I won't say anything else about that. I had no idea <laughs> that Kate ever cute. hung out with Alyssa and Stella. What? I had no idea that Kate ever hung out with Alyssa and well, Stella. Yeah, there's a lot you don't know about, apparently. Can't be there. Kate really has a doting father. And the light shines in darkness, and the darkness comprehended it not. John. Is it a one? John one five? Kitty, you'll always be my brightest light against the dark. Hugs and love. Pop. <laughs> uh, uh, uh. Postcard. I had no idea oh, that I... Kate ever hung out with Alyssa. I already looked at that. Hey, I'm trying to use my powers for good. <laughs> that is correct. Ouch. She left out amnation. Yeah. Some rough stuff you must be going through there, Kate. Good lord. This must be Kate's H.R. Geiger period. <laughs> this game should just be... Oh, there's a picture up here. Almost forgot what Kate looks like when she smiles. It's so sad and depressing. Poor Kate. She doesn't look good. Don't worry, Kate. We'll uh, do something. Hey, Kate. I brought your book. I'll help you with something, I guess. Max, why did you step in between David and me yesterday? Hmm. I'm trying to remember that. Hmm. I, I did it because I hate bullies. I hate bullies. David Madsen should know better. I That's was hoping right. he would, but it's nice to see that you care about me. Kate, I actually do care. So, what's the story with you and David? Well, he's a total paranoid ass. He thinks I'm part of the Vortex Club. Yeah, right. Oh, son of a bitch. Fucking... Sorry. Um... Mmm, why? Why does he think that? Because he saw the video. You know how humiliating this is for me? I know this sucks, Kate, but tell me about the video and maybe I can help. Basically, I went to one Vortex Club party and ended up making out with a bunch of people. And I have no memory of it. Doesn't sound like you. Doesn't sound like you. I can't see you partying with Victoria. I didn't. You have to tell me more than that. What happened at the party? Did you drink? I swear to God, I had one sip of red wine. And then I drank water. Are you... Uh, are you sure? Are you sure it was just one sip? I take a sip at church and I don't end up on a viral video, okay? 
Did somebody drug you? I remember... I remember getting sick and dizzy. Go on. Then Nathan Prescott said he would take me to the hospital. Nathan Prescott? Nathan Prescott? Oh, shit. He was being nice for a change when he offered to help me. He's the opposite of nice. What next? All I recall is driving for a long time. And I woke up in a room. I thought it was a hospital because it was so white and bright. Go on. I'm listening. Somebody was talking to me in a soft voice. I thought it was a doctor until I heard Nathan and felt a sharp sting in my neck. And... And... And? That's all I remember. I don't know what happened. I woke up outside my dorm room the next day. I didn't have any marks or bruises, but I felt gross. So, who took the video of you at the party? I have no idea. Probably Victoria. She was there being her mean self. Jesus, Kate. I'm sorry. This is serious shit. How do I get a viral video taken down? I know it's already yeah. spreading. What if my church sees that? I need to know what to do. Kate, we'll figure it out. I'll check back later, okay? Thanks, Max. You can put my book here near my bag. So, Max, can I ask you a question? And please be honest. Absolutely, Kate. Anything. I need to find out if Nathan Prescott helped me or hurt me after that party. Should I go to the police? Um... Eh, we can do that. If you do at that, some point. they won't believe you. You're on video grabbing at all those guys, and they'll use that against you. Bad. But I know I was drugged. That's what you have to prove, not them. I'm just telling you how the cops in school will look at this. The video doesn't exactly back you up. You make me feel so hopeless. No, no, Kate. I just don't want you to get hurt anymore. That seems impossible at this point. So that's your answer? I think we should wait. There are other things going on that might help you. But not right now. So I can walk down the halls with people calling me a viral slut. Thanks, Max. I never did really communicate the point that it, I'd help look for proof. That wasn't really what she said there. She didn't Good really job, Dr. Me. Max. She didn't like what I had to say, but we need more proof of what happened. I agree. But you didn't actually tell her you were going to look for proof. You just kind of said she needs proof and then... Of course she's going to be upset about that if you're just... Because <laughs> it just kind of sounds like I'm abandoning her. Like, you know, don't do anything. We'll, uh... Ah, alright, well... We'll help. We'll help. We'll figure this out. Max food. Two whales. See you there. Don't hurt your fingers texting. Yay breakfast. No emoji. Why does she hate emoji so much? Oh, that's right. I was supposed to meet her at breakfast or something. <laughs> uh, I almost forgot about that. Victoria, how's your day going? Fine, I won't disturb you. No broke here. Mm, all right, let's run. Oh, nope, nope, sorry. Didn't mean to. Nope, mm, nope, nope. <laughs> oh. Uh, was this girl lying here the whole time? I didn't even notice. Hello? Excuse me, I'm texting Zach. Okay. I can't even imagine what life would be like being a cheerleader. Dramatic. Trevor is making himself comfortable. Oof, hope they don't get busted. That is so damn cute how much Dana is into this Halloween party. <laughs> this is both sad 
and pathetic. Hmm. Hmm. Ah, speaking of Halloween, look at all this makeup. I'm pretty it sure it Ian looks a little stuff. Use it. Uh, I'm just gonna fucking go move move on. We're we're moving on with this storyline. Uh, there's nothing. Let's just go. Let's just leave. Screw this. We're done. We're done here. We're going outside. We're gonna make some crucial decisions and progress the story in some way, some fashion. It is Bird Boy. Hello. The paint job looks great. Samuel knows his color schemes. It's just orange. It's just orange. I don't know what you want. Hello. The birds are flocking around Samuel. Can I take a picture of this? Hello, Samuel. Hey, Samuel. You're up early. Oh, hello, young Max. I do love the early morning. Everything is so calm and quiet. And I can feel the animals waking up with me. Um... Snow? Snow? Animals? Snow? Snow? So, what did you think about that oh, freak yeah. snow shower yesterday? Another message from the Earth to get our shit together. I will say that Samuel hasn't seen anything like that before. Pretty weird, dude. That's one thing I truly love about Arcadia Bay. It's all those cool animals in the forest. <laughs> the squirrels always come in the morning for food. I can hear them whisper. My favorite thing is all the what animals squirrels. What you see in the forest? I, I saw a doe. Don't laugh, but I saw a doe that seemed to be looking right at me. Oh my god. Like it was trying to communicate. That's oh. a fucking... Crazy. That's your spirit animal. What? Nothing weird Shut there up. except you saw yours. Shut up. <laughs> Could be a sign about your destiny. <laughs> what do I know? My spirit animal is a squirrel. I so don't want to get in the way of your morning ritual. See you later. Of course you will. You mean of course? Oh uh, well. Actually, that's probably true. Um. What the heck is out? Everybody, you see does all the time. I it's definitely very common won't animal. go with this thing again. Why would he think it's... Samuel really should keep this locked. It's a waiting accident. And too easy to sneak into. I've I never seen Samuel in wearing walk. shades. And what's with this other crap? I can see that Samuel's concerned, but... Does he need a poster? I can see that Samuel's... How did Samuel get photos of Rachel posing? Oh, uh, that's suspicious. How did he get a picture of Rachel posing? Maybe he kidnapped her. Maybe she's missing because he's a serial kidnapper. Samuel? Hello again, Samuel. Hello again yourself, Max. Did you kidnap Rachel? Sorry to pry, Samuel, but why are there photos of Rachel Amber in your shed? I'm curious about her. Sorry to pry, she says while prying. Now everybody wants to know about her. So did you know her? Like I told the police. She was a good egg, and she gave me those photos. Oh, you talked to the police? Rachel wanted to be a model. Yeah. She gave out headshots like squirrels chasing food. Keep on prying, Max. Sounds like you have a lot of time on your hands. Oh, wow. I so don't want to get asshole. in the way of your morning ritual. See you later. Of course you will. Alright, he definitely kidnapped her. Well, that's one mystery solved. Let's, uh... Can't Blackwell have at least one no football zone? Let's uh, solve some more mysteries. Come on, gang. Let's split up. Who's this? Hello, Taylor. 
Rachel owes the money. Pay up, bitch. Hi, Taylor. Why would you even talk to me after the shit you pulled yesterday with Victoria? I did nothing. I you don't want to fight with you it. or Victoria. Instead of smack talk, let's just talk. For once. You're funny. Well, I'm not doing anything at the moment, so talk. Oh, that's quite reasonable. Kate is really upset about the video. All this gossip is cruel. Boo-hoo. That's what happens when you preach to everybody about sex. She'll live. Why do you hang out with Victoria? She's pretty mean to you and Courtney. And she's bossy too. Look, you don't know her. I do. And she's one of the best friends you could have. I guess I've had mean, bossy best friends too. Better than having mean, bossy parents. I would love it if my mom was mean or bossy instead of sick. But whatever. Oh we shit. Have her mom is sick. Now I'm learning things about everybody. Her mom... This is kind of cool. So does this keep track of everything that... Uh... Um, where are the other characters? It only has, I guess, the main ones. Nobody else is important enough to get a picture, it seems. You're not important enough to get a picture, Taylor. You're not important at all, are you? You just got a sick mom and horrible friends. That's all you have. Ah. This is Nathan's father, this is a message of net you and one of the attempts to slander and blackmail my son will be met with many lawyers and legal ramifications. You're not the first student at Blackwell to try this. I hope you're the last. Consider this a full final polite warning. Yeah, yeah, whatever, dude. The Prescott Dormitory? Good lord, Nathan's family owns my dorm? Oh, yeah, I, I already Rex, read that. Come on over here. Warren, I don't have time for your shit today. Fine. What are you doing here? Oh, nothing. Waiting for a call? I mean, I already took the call. Anyway, I wanted to rap about that action yesterday. Rap about that action. Thank you. By the way, thank you for stepping in. You were pretty badass, Warren. I owe you. Oh, yes you do. I got knocked on my ass by that dick. I'm some personal superhero. You're a real everyday in. hero. You stood up to a bully and it was awesome. Even Stop. though you left me with said bully and ran off with that girl, she's pretty punk rock. How do you know her? Just a pirate. Uh, what does that mean? <laughs> Can I tell this guy about her? I don't, I don't fucking know, I guess. An old friend, Chloe Price. We haven't seen each other in a while. I bet you were glad to see her blast up in that truck like a rock star. Which begs the question, why is Nathan Prescott getting psycho on you? Because they told on him. Well, I'd like to say both of these things, right? Um, I'll just tell you. I busted, I busted him it. in the bathroom yesterday with a gun. I'll give you the story later. Mm, Principal Wells is taking care of it that now, much I hope. information. Weird fucking week. Like that bizarro snowfall yesterday. Speaking of dystopia, that drive-in is having a 70s Planet of the Apes marathon. Let's go ape! <clears throat> okay. Yes, that's exactly what I need. I love those old school ape films. Well, that was easier than I thought. Cool, <laughs> I'll text you the info. Cool, Warren. We'll go watch Planet of the Apes. I hope they air all of them. There's like a lot of Planet of the Apes movies. There's like five, maybe not five, like four or five like of the original films. And then they did like the remakes and then they're doing like three more. David talking to Nathan cannot be a good thing. 
prequel This has film. something to do with Kate. Or Rachel. I think at the at Bob Evans or something. <laughs> We're gonna go to the Waffle House. <laughs> 